right by the beach, towering over the places where players new to the server spawn in for the very first time. They relish that power they feel staring down at those freshly spawned individuals with no one holding them accountable for their dreadful deeds. And when you're on the painful side of that encounter, it crystallizes a grim determination that knows no bounds. But I'll explain what I mean. I just joined the server, hit respawn, and popped into existence. Oh no. Опа, блядь, что ты тут забыл, нахуй? See, I'd spawned inside a walled compound, been stared at by bloodthirsty wolfish players, and gunned down. I respawned once more and watched the sunrise. I could feel that something big was beginning. Now, I wasn't alone. My friend Bernie was joining me, and we'd noticed that we'd spawned near each other, so we ran to meet. We were also near the base that I'd been spawn killed at just moments earlier, so we went to check it out. There is a heckin' compound here, and I got... I got brutally murdered. Now, as I approached, they sealed their fate. All over their base were vulgar and offensive signs and insignias. There's, There's a cave in there. They've got racist cave. signs. They got, like, swastika signs up and everything. Yes. No surprise. These guys were scum and I'd take care of them. Now, before we continue on this great tale, I wanted to mention a couple things coming up on my channel. I have a new U2s figure on the way coming December 11th, a little pumpkin pirate. I also have some fresh new merch designs in my store, and I'm gonna be doing giveaways of my U2s and my merch on both my Twitter and my Instagram. So go follow me in both places for two chances to win. The links are in the description. Go click them. Now back to our tale. Bernie and I retreated from this clan's base for now. We had a lot of work to do to start building up our strength. I did some farming and then we headed inland. Uh, I'm pretty sure those guys have been running small rig too. Maybe, maybe I was just sal a salty noob. Oh. Okay. Did you hear that? What was that? Okay, dude. I scavenged around some more while Bernie did the same. Oh, How, how'd you get there? I just got a box of clothing. I'm coming. I want some clothing. All right. Oh, oh, I'm about to get murdered. There's a no. man. I can make a blow. Uh, okay, choose, choose whatever you'd like. Banana boy. Wow, you're in, oh, goodness gracious. Fashion. While exploring more, we found a decayed base. I'm going in with a banana. With some decent loot from the decayed base, we doubled back to a wooded area to find a good place to make a home. If we tuck our base in here, let's do this. This is like a Christmas tree. This is so wonderful. It's Christmas! With our wooden shack completed, I made a crossbow, grabbed a green card to access the loot at the satellite dish, and we headed back out. Oh, that's the boys down there. Mm -hmm. They're not that mm -hmm. geared, though. Hit one fully charged. Oh, I downed him, I downed him. Okay, other one? The other one's on the rock, right, right yep, ahead of yep, you. Yep, 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 yep. I'm gonna finish him. Bow? Oh, you're bow. Can't get a clear shot on him. I'm trying to go to the left. Oh, yeah. He's running. Up on your left. He's pushing me. Oh, he tagged me again. I'm pulling back. Hit him. I don't know if he's pushing down or what, or if he's holding it. I can't tell. He's holding. Oh, behind. Uh-oh. We gotta kill him. I'm gonna kill him. Hit him. I'm dead. I hit him once. He's one hit. Oh, he's so laggy. Hit Got him. it. Nice. Can you pick me up? Headshot him. I headshot him with a full charge bow. He's okay. so low. I'm, I'm gonna bleed out, I think. Hit him. Um, How? Nice. How is he he's alive? alive. <laughs> he's not alive anymore. <laughs> I'm just ditching across this barren waste. Low on health and with no medical supplies, I ran off to loot the satellite dish. Oh, I got I a blue in the trees. With some more loot obtained, I then went to meet up with Bernie as night fell. We decided to next loot the airfield with the blue card I'd obtained. He was super, super close to our left. I heard him. He took a couple steps on the grass. Swoop. We finished looting and recycling and started making our way home. Oh, naked boy. I don't know why naked boy would be all the way out here. <laughs> Gamer screeching noises removed. Look at that, so hidden even we don't know where it is. Well, yup. We returned to our base and banked the loot. I then went out to go do some farming so we could upgrade our base. Hey, shut the hell up, old man! While I was farming, Bernie noticed something at a small compound nearby. Oh, there's Hello. a enough turret in there. Oh? Ooh. With a gun in it? I don't know, it's hard to tell. I have to jump. Oh, this is gonna be a smaller gun. Here, though. Oh. All right, I went. Oh, up. there's another turret right here. Oh, it has a gun in it. It has an M9. What? Here, there's, a, there's multiple turn-off turrets. If we broke the auto turrets, the guns inside them would tumble out, 
potentially a quick way to get some better weapons. Hazmat in here, a pickaxe, some ladders. I'm going in. All right, I'll bonk this turret. Bonk. M9. Uh, I didn't check all of them now. Oh! Metal. A good amount of stuff was scattered across their furnaces and boxes. I'm a gamer. We're just epic like We're that. both gaming right now. We built up and around this base's tower. Oh, oh baby! Oh. Well, I have ladders. Oh! Is there stuff? Oh! oh! Yes! There was loot in the boxes up here. Unexpected, but not unwelcome. Take launcher and high velocity. Oh! He's on! He's on! What? The owner of the base was online. We had to take what we'd grabbed and quickly get out. Oh, my game froze. No. I'm down. My game is frozen. He's coming out the front door. I'm picking you up. Yeah, I'm good now. I'm good now. Okay, all right. We can go. Go. Hopping to their gate and over their wall, we escaped the confines of their compound. I clipped the spike. I'm down. I clipped the spike. I think he's on the roof now, though. Water and syringe. I don't have any heals now, though. With absolutely no meds left, we now had to get out of here. Right here, I'm gonna Easy get grab. some cover. I might try to back off this way, because it looks like there's cover this way. I hit him, he's like Where halfway up, kinda. Okay. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Alright, I'm home. We'd successfully stolen some decent guns and equipment from the nearby compound. Now back at home, I made some upgrades. Boom. Very cozy. There's been a murder! Guards! You violated the law! Next, Bernie and I returned to exploring our area. I'm gonna see you who see this person boys? is. Well you, met, you, Fred! White naked. Don't do it to my- Okay. Shame. I'm gonna no, have to murder him. You. How dare you, coward! A hundred scrap on him. Oh, yes, he was angry. A few minutes later, we noticed we'd wound our way back to the base of the toxic clan I had in my sights. I realized now that they had a tower and a cave base. You know, cave bases can be yeah. nearly impossible to raid. Oh, it's a cave, isn't it? I took note of this for now, but kept moving. There was a boat base nearby them in ruins, and the cargo ship was about to pass this inlet, so we decided to go for it. Is that someone on the front? Yeah, yes. very front. Some players on it. We could do this. I'm trying to hug the boat. Oh no, I'm dead. He got Wake me. Up. Oh, I'm dead too. I'm dead too. We'd been killed. A fairly big setback. My body's gonna be out there. They're not gonna loot it. Bernie spawned by the coast to look for his body in the ocean, and I regeared at base and went to meet him. There's two guys on me. They're chasing me. I have 20 health and I have no more heals. I'm He's keeping his distance for some reason. I see him. Hit him. I think he's. Oh, one's pushing. Yeah, I'm. He's really taking a shot on me. One's dead. Where is God? One's dead. One's dead. Hit him. Hit him. Full dead. Yeah. yeah. Almost freaking killed me. Got it. Someone's here. Honestly, That's not you. Yeah, I see where he is. I, I'm going for it. Across the water. Gaggle of chickens. Oh my god, they're fighting each other. Getting out of hand here, folks. I banked my loot from the players I killed and took a moment in bass to play some trumpet tunes for my stream. Now while I was doing this, Bernie had taken on a brave, yet perhaps foolish task. He had taken his scuba kit and swam out all the way to the oil rig to potentially ambush the people currently taking it. I'm being sneaky. Bernie had crept onto the rig undetected and was slinking around the metal scaffoldings. They don't know I'm here, I'm ready like on rig. A bit later, he heard the hackable crate open and silently inched towards it. And what he found inside the crate room was very odd. A dead player, and then another one just sleeping. We had no idea what to make of this. Um, Bowen? Yes? He fell asleep in the, in the crate room as it opened. What? He fell asleep in the crate room as it opened. I'm not even kidding. Bernie looted up what he could as I raced to the coast to join him. Oh, do you think they were trying to do something slick like resetting it? Now what we determined was likely occurring is since they had never heard Bernie, they assumed that there was no one else at the rig. So they were attempting to do some kind of tricky glitch to potentially respawn extra loot crates. It hadn't panned out for them. Bernie's sneakiness and their greed had cost them a lot of high tier equipment. Hey, we're gonna stash. Oh, baby. There you go, gamer. Oh, wow. Coming up. Oh, yeah. We loaded up on all we could, then headed back to shore and home. Yeah, I'm in the boat right now. Whee! The 
rest of our journey went uneventfully, and we returned home safely. Triple headshot dead. Shh, bravo six going dog. Oh my god. Now Bernie had to log off, so I was solo. All right, good luck, gamer. I'll talk to you later. GG, see ya. So I did some exploring in the meantime. That's a gamer. Shoot his ass! Don't do it, boy! <laughs> Turn around, you son. Oh, baby, a triple! Oh, what the heck? It's the circle of life. It measures it all. This is... Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. No, man. Please. Please, he's got a family. Oh, no. <gasps> oh. It's the circle of life. How big are these boys? Come on, give me it. Welcome. Up. Oh, my God, there was an eclipse. It's a sign. While out wandering around, I decided to go scope out my enemy's base in earnest. So I recreated the compound on my private server. Yeah, he said it. Now their tower was not too fortified. Blasting through one side of it with a number of rockets would be a straightforward task once the auto turrets were dealt with. However, the cave base below could be extremely difficult to raid in terms of both complexity and resources required. I needed to make a lot of progress before I'd be ready to take this base on. Okay, it's a cave base. All right, confirmed. I'm gonna put my bag down right here. After my reconnaissance mission, I returned home. I was beginning to outgrow this little starter base, so I headed just uphill and started building my new, more fortified main base. Something like that. That's pretty good. Hold him. Make it stone for now, I think so. The blast furnace. I continued upgrading my base into the night. It was well into the evening, and I geared down to do some farming when I heard them. Oh! Okay, we are not farming anymore. Rockets, and not too far off. I grabbed the night vision goggles we'd found on the oil rig and went to investigate. Other players were raiding this base right here, and I was thus far undetected. timed my movements with the explosions to cover my footsteps. Actually, yes. I'd seen an opportunity and I'd seized it. A full-fledged counter raid against multiple heavily armed players might not have gone my way, but stealing their valuable and expensive minicopter, that was in the bag. Yeah, right, yeah. Those guys are unhappy with that turn of events, I'd imagine. I returned home as dawn was breaking. I decided to next go to the outpost to buy a jackhammer. An arduous trek by foot would be a short flight on my minicopter. Uniform, two, five, niner, one, one, niner. Definitely here, Oh no! I bought the jackhammer and did some farming in remote reaches of the map. Oh, that's a gamer. You know what? We're gonna go home. Oh. I then returned home to cook the ores I'd gathered. I had a fair bit of sulfur and metal now, materials I was hoping to soon put to use in a raid. Now I was still solo, so I decided to do a smaller scale raid on a close by neighbor to potentially get some more resources. Raiding time, baby! What we got? Ooh, okay, okay. It had been a fruitful raid. I returned home, tended to my furnaces, and did some more expanding. 
As my furnaces smelted, I headed out once more to look for more loot. I still got it, Ma! Uh, Sorry, dude. Uh, Sorry, I leave your no. pool. Can you give me the green key card? That's the only thing I want. Okay, I eat but I drop off ground. Can you take yes, me good luck, man. Spasiba Drug! Oh, Jesus Christ, bad oh frick. Oh no, he's also dodging. The player I'd helped up was also dodging the sniper on the nearby roof. Hey, you leave that man alone. I cover you, man. Run, run. No! I save you, man. On your feet, we are leaving. Go, go, go. Spasiba. <laughs> Now back at home, I collected more cooked sulfur. My raiding supplies were coming along well. I re-geared with a semi-rifle, then headed out once again. Oh, this is not a good rock. I'm dead. I'd been ambushed and killed. I grabbed another gun and ran back. I was in such a bad spot there. Killed again. See, I was still solo, but some groups began being active in my area. I ran back once more as the sun was setting and noticed activity at a nearby base. That is a freaking sunset right there. Is that their base? We're sneaking. Oh, f off, mate. You dog. Your mom looks like a donkey. Your mom looks like a donkey. A bloody you donkey. You are a donkey and you are a donkey. <laughs> After a productive back and forth, I'd identified the group's base, and they were a threat to my area. I couldn't have enemies breathing down my neck as I prepared for a raid. With a double barrel and some grenades, I went back. <laughs> Who is this? Hey, dude! Alright, I got it. <laughs> With a precision grenade, I killed one of them who had been collecting fuel. Right, I actually sort of needed this load grade. I was, yeah. <laughs> How do they always know? Hey, you donkey! You, you absolute donkey! Your mother looks like a... Now over the next few minutes, I really began having a hard time. Every excursion from my base ended in death. What do you mean, dude? Like anything. God, absolute rats. There was yet another group that had moved in. My area was getting very hot. I needed a plan. There they are. Hey there, brothers. Nope. All right. Well, that's them. See, this was the situation. My base was here, and the other two groups that had moved into my area were here and here. My main target, the large toxic clan's compound, was a bit farther north. I needed to deal with these two adjacent threats before I could hope to take on the large clan. And I was going to have backup. I'd been planning to play with my friends Ray C, Ezrath, and Potato Kai, and they'd just come online, so I prepared my base to have a group and bagged them in. Hello. There we go. That worked, right? Yeah. Hello. Oh, oh, dodge. oh, oh, oh you I dodged it? Dodge. Huge. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What are we roaming with here? Uh, anything you can make or find or whatever you want. Every time they killed me, they said, oh. <sighs> multiple sheriffs in town now. Yep, yep, yep. Now I had enough explosive ammo crafted to raid the base of the most recently joined group in the area. The other group that kept killing me and taunting me would be my target once this first group was gone. Uh, I got my pistol? Python with my four times later, man. Is that good? 
It's a meme cannon, dude. <laughs> so the one we're raiding right now is to the west. It felt good to have some company again. <laughs> He's got more wow. meds than me. I have five. <laughs> we headed to the first nearby group's base just before dawn with our raiding gear. See that? It's armor foundation. Let's see toes, man. Yeah, yeah, I have them. There's wall foot. Wall foot. Let's go. Let's keep the We continued raiding through their door. Oh. oh boy, oh boy! There's a trap there, brother! <laughs> Don't go boom. Boom. It's all good. Boom. Boom. Hey, is okay. here with MP5? Ooh. A loaded component box. Nice. Now we needed a bit more explosive ammo to break the final door, so I returned home to craft it. I also made myself an AK. You must be crafting an AK because we have one hour of keep. <laughs> <laughs> As we returned to the raid with the remaining explosive ammo, a distant base was taking pot shots at Ray and Potato. Oh, yeah, he's already moved. All right, I'll do that. It could have been that, yeah. yeah. Oh, yes, this is worth going. Oh, so many oh, nails. Nails. We finished raiding the base. Guns and substantial amounts of resources. What Appreciate is going it. on with this guy? You can't hear me? Nope. I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. We returned home for now to plot our next raid on the group that had killed and taunted me. They had a storm bearing down on them. With some more explosive ammo crafted, we headed out to raid them. Let's roll, brother. Now on the way to the raid, we heard something that shifted our plans. Oh, wait. Oh, should we do that? And then rock a C4? Yep, bang. We could take down the heli here. Then, if we got rockets and C4 from a heli crate, we'd have a big head start on our now not-so-distant raid on the Toxic Clan's compound. A wall right here. Yeah. Wait, is it gonna rocket me already? I'm running too good. Well, it's, it just, it just moonwalked. Be a power move. C4 rockets from all of we go in the hill. See you, kiddos. <laughs> we looted the heli crates, but the first three only gave ammunition and attachments. Don't let C4 <laughs> rockets, let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Now to head downhill and evict the other group causing trouble in my area. Donated or something. I say yeah, we yeah, we'll figure it out. I yeah. say we do that. I'll check the traps. Sector clear. Go, go, go! Uh, Welcome. Uh, online! This little son of a bitch! One of the players in their group had just been lurking inside, waiting to strike when we entered. They were done. I can't believe that, bro. I, I did not think All they right. were on. And there was a lot of loot in here. Another worthwhile raid. Oh, oh right there. <laughs> My area was now secure once more, and we'd accumulated a fair bit of resources to convert into explosives. Who hides in the corner of their- Oh my god. Doesn't make a noise. There's Doesn't make a noise. They heard us yeah, taking heli there. the whole time. We ran it, man. It's, it's over. Let it go. We'd secured their base as an outpost for ourselves when we heard a very distant boom. I heard it. Yeah, no, it's like, um, probably H2 almost. Ezrath had judged the raid to be at roughly quadrant H2, right in the area of the Toxic Clan's compound. Oh, wait. Okay, there was a base, big base. Uh, a cave it. base. That does sound like a cave. Yep, someone was raiding the Toxic Clan's cave base right now. Time to see what was going on here. Oh, I see him, I see him, I see him. Where? Where? Uh, I see, he's up on the rock. Coming yeah, up yeah. the build up with you. Dumb build he's up. Not in the, he's not in the compound with you, the naked one. Turn off science. Oh, uh, the, uh, you mean the compound? Oh! Um, yeah. They're rocketing in there. Now, Ezrath and Potato were already in the cave yeah. while Ray had some of the explosives we had in his inventory and was still a ways out. Okay. 
There was a lot of shooting below. The raiders were likely destroying something with their guns. You want to come here, Raider? I'm, I'm running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to jump. Ezrath was now nearly down at the bottom of the cave. Got one, full dead, launcher dead, two dead, two dead. Okay. I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm full sending it. Coming. Got another one, check pulled out launcher. It's clear. Yep. Yeah. I got a rocket. All the raiders were dead. We controlled this raid. Now to figure out what was going on. So what booms do we have? I have two rockets. Ray has expo ammo. I have 12 ammo. How did I have a stack of expo ammo. I have a C4. We decided to use the raiders' remaining explosives to try to reach the core of this cave base. Some, Some stuff or... pure ore tea. This wall is honey. That, this, yeah. yeah, that, that, yeah. Honey. We started trying to decipher where the loot was in this winding cavernous vault. I mean, you can see the dimensions of it from here. It's a 50-50. So it's, it's a 50-50, like, yeah. We began by breaking the lower armored door. It was our best guess. Um, I'm just gonna try and splash the... Five you have five. Okay. <laughs> I was confused. Right? Oh! This base was riddled with turrets and traps. Ray got killed while baiting one. Ton of meds, so. Oh, wait, the fire kills me. It's okay. Oh, you're. D uh, rip. Uh, shotgun trap and flame trap are both. Okay. Oh, one, they're here, they're here. I, don't, I hit one okay. twice. Coming. One dead. Nice. We dealt with some counters and escorted Ray back into the compound. Oh, what, who's shooting yeah, arrows at us? I don't yeah. know where they are. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> that was scary. Wait for Ray to get in, we'll hop back down. We next destroyed the garage door behind the armored door we broke. Look at that garage door. Oh boy! We baited the shotgun traps and came to more doors. Ooh, left a bunker. Oh no, it's a bunker. With some combat log ingenuity, we determined that this was likely just a furnace room back here. The upper armored door likely led to the core. Now we had a few more rockets and a C4 at base, so Ray and I hopped out of the compound to retrieve them while Ezrath and Potato held down the raid. Wait, it's probably Trigal Honeycomb. <laughs> <laughs> Could be another Wait, they were right there? I can't believe they've been sitting out here this long. Wow. Where the honeycomb? Well, Something we think weird to our left, honeycomb. sorry. Once, twice, and then. Right, Come on, boy. We also wanted to have some more mobility, so we decided to buy a mini copter from the bandit camp. Mine from earlier had been stolen at some point. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah. Yes. Now back in the raid, we destroyed the armored door. I'm, dude, I'm so over. I'm like, I want to boom. <laughs> yeah. Uh, garage door behind. Now this garage door was on a stone frame. We were low on explosives, but we could use the plentiful shotgun ammo and tools to destroy this frame. I see a bag in a box. Right here. I'll start. Oh, oh baby! Oh shit! No! 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 <laughs> I got pushed into you, which kept dragging me into you. In all the excitement, I'd been killed by the shotgun trap in the next room. I spawned outside the base. Yeah, I'm yeah, not gonna I'm... look at the loot yet. <laughs> I got ferried back into the raid and checked out the next room. It was laden with loot, resources, and tons of gear. Oh, there's like. What is the words? The bags say trash. Oh my god. The bag name was trash, implying that this room laden with items was not of value to them. The amount of loot in their core could be staggering. So it's below us. We would it's splash a... this, and it's directly below us. Now we realized that we were currently standing directly on top of the bunker. If we were able to get enough rockets to break through this floor, we'd be into everything. This was our plan. Ezrath and Ray would go out into the mountains on the minicopter and farm, while I stayed behind, covered the raid, and crafted with potato. Now very soon after we put our plan in motion, we heard the attack heli once more. If we took it down again, it would be another chance at more rockets and C4. Okay, I can I'll just bang Bring an immediate supply, guys, of low grade. <laughs> Refuel, <laughs> boys! Like a NASCAR yeah. pit stop. You got some? Yeah, I got Rotate the tires. The attack heli was inbound. We were in for another fight. What is it doing? Wait, how did my actor blow up? I'm also. Wait, one of us should stay 
alive. I figured it out. Nice, okay. I'm right by it. We looted the heli crates. No explosives, but we got an M249, the crown jewel of any rust arsenal. Over the next few minutes, I crafted the sulfur I'd gotten into gunpowder, and then into explosives, and finally into rockets. It took a fair amount of time, but we finally had the just over a dozen rockets needed to break through this armored floor. Now to just hope that we were right. The rockets are in this little box over here. Shoot where you want to hit it. Honestly, like right here. Okay. All right. One second, one second. I hope this doesn't kill me, by the way. Yeah, I'm going to go over here. All right. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> after that unlucky blowback, we continued blasting in. Please don't murder me. Bad. I'm trying to keep away. I'm doing that. Oh, I just broke this box. Good. What is going on? Right here in the corner? I finished off the last few health points of the floor with some excess explosive in. Oh, baby. There is no way. We were in. And the loot in here was incredible. Ooh, oh, boy. Rockets. Ooh, boy. Thousands of high quality metal, rockets, resources, everything. This had been well worth the raid. And not just for the loot. I'd come a long way from when I first encountered these toxic players on the beach. But I wasn't done. We had a lot of rockets once more. We secured this cave base with our own tool cupboard and doors and then went on a quick excursion back home to deposit all the resources. I'm gonna murder this man. Oh, He's got a bolt! Again, he's dead. Jesus Christ! Ezrath had to log off, so now it was just Ray, Potato, and I. We returned to the cave and now had our sights set firmly on one final target their tower. We retrieved the rockets from the cave, emerged armed to the teeth, and began a barrage on this terrible clan's surface base. Rat. <laughs> probably walk up right here. Mm. Oh wait, All right. right there? Yep, that would be perfect. Yeah, there you go, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can get, we can move up now. Oh, no, They're both broken. Now it's broken. Our first volley broke the external turrets. Now to blow straight inside. Baby, give it to him. Give it to him, boy! There's all of them. Nades. I can eat some nades at it. Wait, wait. A naked just spawned in, in the compound with us. What? What? He just spawned in front of me, bro. No, 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 oh! No, no, no. I spawned here too once! A new player to the server had spawned inside the compound here, just like I had so long ago. Let's let him out. This is what happened to me. I spawned in here once and they killed me. Let's let him out. I was gonna do things a bit differently from this toxic clan. Liberation. Okay, here, here, here. We let you out. Should we do it? Yeah, let's do it. Let my people go. Let me go. Yeah. No. We letting you out. <laughs> Let's go, go, be free! Okay, go, be free, my brood. Goodbye. 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 <laughs> we finished raiding the base, pushed to the core, and then left behind some nice, sturdy metal embrasures. The sun had just risen as we completed the raid. With their cave and tower in ruins, I had exacted my vengeance. I thought again about that new player that had just run off, now beginning their journey. And instead of a cold, murderous welcome, they'd seen the good side of what they could one day potentially become. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm currently live streaming on my Twitch. Come say hi, and go follow me on my Twitter and my Instagram. I've got some cool giveaways and things planned on them. The links are below. Go click them, and go follow my thumbnail artist too. This has been your friend Wellen, ending another exciting adventure. I'll see you next time.